Hi, today's video will be about one of the render elements. It's called V-Ray Cryptomate. And if you're not familiar with it, this video will change your life for sure. So Cryptomates are a new method of a uh, very efficient one of creating accurate masks of all the objects in your scene. And uh, that will be used in a post-production software of your choice, like Photoshop, uh, After Effects, Nuke or Fusion. So Cryptomates are as accurate as uh, the Multimate render element, but uh, uh, unlike them, uh, it removes the needs of any initial setup that you have to make and waste time adjusting uh, object IDs or setting up dozens of multimate elements. So uh, here is uh, where you can find it in the render elements tab and you add it uh, like this. Uh, all you need to do is choose from the V-Ray Cryptomat parameters uh, what type will suit your needs uh, the best. So uh, the ones that uh, I use the most are uh, node name which creates masks according to the name of the object. Uh, the node material name, which uh, make the masks according to the uh, materials that are in the scene. Cryptomate elements support also reading of multi sub object materials. So even if uh, there is uh, an object with uh, many materials, the masks would be created separately and accurately for each of the material that the object has. And the last one that uh, I use is uh, by layer name, which uh, makes uh, masks according to the uh, layers that you have in your scene and uh, uh, how you have uh, divided your objects in the layers. It is very useful if you uh, have a nice uh, uh, structured uh, hierarchy in your file, like for example, all the forest packs are in one layer, all the trees are in another layer, and then the mask will be uh, then uh, divided like this. All the trees will be in one mask, and all the forest packs in another, and uh, it's very useful when the files are big and there are many, many objects in, in them. So one drawback though is that the Cryptomate masks uh, cannot be created for objects which are behind uh, refracting materials like uh, glass windows or similar objects. So you have to have take this into consideration and like this when you uh, add cryptomate masks you can have as many as you like or different uh, uh, using different uh, types of parameters like for example one with uh, the layer names and you can add another cryptomate you should never uh, forget to rename it because then you will override it so another with for example the material name all the materials so like this you will always uh, be covered for all the objects in your scene and will be sure that when you make your post production you will always need have the mask you need for whatever object there is so no need to uh, trying to select something 
that you have uh, forgotten to make a multimate uh, element for it. So this is uh, very useful, time saving and uh, very very efficient way. Another thing which is uh, useful is uh, these num levels. They indicate uh, how many objects can be uh, differentiated uh, in a pixel. The default uh, is uh, six uh, objects can be differentiated within one pixel. Uh, for better accuracy, you can uh, make this number uh, higher, like 10 or 12, for example. So now that we have set up our masks for this render, uh, you can add uh, your other elements that you'll be using in your post. And in order to be able to use them, what we have to do is uh, use uh, an EXR file format, which is 32 bit. Uh, so you can uh, specify the location of your file from here. And from the drop down menu, use open EXR file format. Then press render. So, in order to use uh, this uh, open EXR format in your Photoshop, uh, you have to go and download the plugin uh, from this website here. The, the link will be in the description. Uh, so, you go here and press the download button. When you download it, you, you can uh, then install it to your Photoshop. After that, we open our Photoshop. And the location where our render is. Here it is, the ready one. .txr format. You just drag and drop it. And here is how the plugin looks. You leave the default settings on and just press open. It will take some time to load the file as it generates the crypto map, generates masks for each object in your scene. Let's see, here are the Cryptomat masks. What I use is uh, how I use them is I leave them in a separate folder at the bottom. And when I want to select something, for example, let's select the grass forest pack. Here it is at the bottom. It, it, I just right click on something that I want to be selected. And then press the cryptomat with control and select. I select all the, the grass, and now I can make, for example, some levels adjustments to the brightness of the grass, and it's perfect, perfectly selecting everything. I can this way as well select the concrete and make some other adjustments. For example, some hue, some whiteness or darkness, whatever I want. This way it will be very quickly to select all the objects in your scene and make a beautiful post. If you did enjoy anything in this video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.